What's up you guys? Serge here, teaching you guys how to play River City Ransom's boss fight theme on guitar. So before we get started, we're going to make a quick reference to finger numbers. So 1, 2, 3, and 4, and anchor points. So wherever we place finger number 1, so for example, finger 1 on the 5th fret on the high E, from there forward, each finger follows relative to finger 1's placement. Alright, so to get started with this first section, what we're going to be doing is... So from here, finger 1, 7th fret on G, finger 3 goes to the 9th fret on D. The pattern here will be 1, 3, 3, 1, 3, 3, 1, 3. From there, finger 1 jumps up to the 10th fret on G. You're going to be playing an octave. So that means finger 1, again, is on the 10th on G, and the pinky is on the 13th on high E. So you get... And you'll get... And the pattern here should be a... Um, Same exact idea where you do like a 1, but now it's a 4-4. Four, four. So it's 1-4-4, four, four, scoot back 1 fret, keep the spacing the same. 1-4-4, four, four, keep the spacing the same, but now jump to the 7th fret on G. And again, the pinky here is on high E, 8, or a 10. Alright, so now slowly, in context, we get starting on the 7th fret. You jump up to the 10, same string still. Okay, so that's a ninth to a seventh. So now immediately following that, we're gonna get the So the fingering here will be finger number one goes on the twelfth fret on B. Pinky goes to the fifteenth fret, still on B. Or you can use finger three, since the frets are a lot smaller here. It's up to you. Now jump down to the thirteenth fret on high E to the sixteenth on high E. So it's the same shape, you're just moving forward one fret. Or... Now, another thing you can do is you can hammer it. Okay? Or, another thing I also do too, is to make it a little easier since sometimes, you know, hammering is a little tough uh, at a faster speed, you'll just do a... Those are all hammers, okay? So it's a little faster, you get... So for this next section, we're going to be looking at the main jingle for the boss fight theme. Now for the sake of keeping this portion of the lesson simple, uh, again, we're just going to use the anchor point on the ninth fret here. After you've learned this, you can go ahead and change it up and do whatever fingering you'd like for this section. Okay, so moving on. So again, that's 12 on B with the pinky. 11 on G with finger 3, finger 2 goes down back to B on the 10th. So that was a chromatic ascend from the 10th fret. Okay, so again slowly we have back to finger 3 up top on the 11th there, okay, so again, slowly. Okay, so now we have finger 2, 10th fret on E. So that was 10, 9 on E, finger 2 goes up to 10 on B, but the rhythm goes, you play that 10 twice right there, so it's 1, 2, and then you end by playing high E again on the 9th fret. So slowly, that just that section goes... Okay, now that immediately loops us back into the beginning. Fingers are 4, 3, 2, 3, 4, 3. High E, 2, 2, 1, 2, 1, up, 2, down 1. So now we loop that section one more time, right after, for the final loop, or the final part, we're going to be doing this. Alright, so now that section will be like the beginning, 12 on B with pinky or finger 4, finger 3 goes up to G on 11, finger 2 comes back down to B on 10, climbing up uh, chromatically, and then 3 goes back up, 2 goes down, 
pinky on the high E now. Back to finger two. Finger two goes up to B. Pinky still on B for the 12th fret. Alright, so we're getting close to closing in on the final section here. I'll go ahead and play this part slowly in context first so we know what section we're in, okay? Alright, so what we have there is finger number one goes on the 10th fret on B, finger two reaches out to the 12th fret on B. So you're going to be hammering like this. Okay, once you've hammered, pinky reaches out to the 14th fret on high E. So you get... Alright. Now once you've done that, you're going to chromatically descend right behind pinky, okay? So you'll get a 4, 3, 2, and a 1 goes on the 10th fret on high E. So it's like this. Alright. So now again, that entire little section in context. Right here, at the very tail end, you'll play. So what that was is finger 1 was on the 10th fret, and finger 3 went up to the 12th fret on B. So now slowly in context, we get... will repeat one more time. All right, so at the tail end of that little section, we're going to be playing this part repeatedly. So you get one, three, three, one, three, three, one, three, repeat. Repeat. From right there. What happened there was finger three and finger one stayed relatively um, spaced to one another, okay? So that was three, one, scooting forward one fret. So now you're on the 13th on B and the 11th on high E. And then so forth. Another fret forward. Another fret forward. So that was... So what I do, though, is I tend to use this, like, walking motion. you can kind of cut the note so it's not bleeding into one another. You don't really want that. I mean, if you're going for that, sure. But, again, this is what I do. So now that entire section, slowly in context, we get... Once you're finished with that section, it brings us right back to the beginning. So we get. Once again. So, with that said, that essentially covers all of the parts for the River City Ransom boss fight jingle. This is just the main melody up top, okay? So, this isn't covering the uh, harmony guitar, um, which I can add that at the tail end of this. Alright, for this little subsection that we have here, this is going to be for the harmony that accompanies the main melody in the middle section of um, the jingle. Okay, so the first harmony happens in this section right here. So while that is happening, guitar number two is playing. while it may not sound like it's doing much or it sounds a bit odd, it actually really helps the main melody uh, to really stand out. Uh, and this whole thing is being, or the majority of it, I should say, is being played in fourths. Um, but anyway, so what we get here is finger number three goes on the seventh fret on B, rolls up to G, finger one plays E, fifth fret on B, climb up, chromatically, roll back up to the G. So slowly you get... 
Okay, so finger one goes to the fifth fret on high E. And it rolls up to the fifth fret on B. And you finish off by going back down to the high E on the fifth fret. Okay, and so for the final part of this section, this is what it's going to sound like in context first. So slowly, just that portion, we get... Okay, high E. Seven high E. Back to five on a high E. Okay, that was on B. Five to seven on B. Alright, so the last harmony that we're going to find is going to be in the final section of our boss fight theme here. Okay? And that's going to be played like this. I'll play it slowly in context first. And that's supposed to harmonize this. Okay, it's for that specific part. So what we'll do here is finger number one plays the fifth fret on B, and you're going to hammer on to the seventh fret on B. Okay, so it's... And you roll straight down to play the seventh on high E. So it's... You get that. Okay, so now, moving forward... Okay, so that was three times on the seventh fret, one time on the fifth fret. All on high E there, okay? To B. High E... High E. E, high E. And you end on B again there. And that essentially covers our harmony for the boss fight game in both sections. It only happens a couple of times, and then I think from there forward it kind of matches what the main melody is doing. Alright, so with that said, that covers our lesson slash tutorial on River City Ransom's boss fight theme on guitar, which covers both the main melody and the harmony. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please post them below, and I'll do my best to get back to you guys to help you out with anything you might need some help with. So, please stick around. I'll be posting the bass lesson slash tutorial for Registry Ransom's boss fight theme as well, and a couple of others, you know, maybe another arrangement of some kind, since I'm definitely due for one. So please check out my NES arrangement album, A Winner Is You, either digitally, cassette, CD, at bandcamp.com, or on an amazing NES cartridge at RetroUSB.com. Anyway, thank you guys again so much for watching. Please subscribe for more awesome content, and I will see you guys soon.